Hi everyone, Aaron with Perfect Postures. Um, I, what I thought would be really cool is if we did a, um, we're gonna do a five part series on uh, pelvic deviations. A lot of the clients that come in here um, come in with um, diagnosis, of course, from their physician, but maybe they're seeing a chiropractor or their physical therapist, um, and they'll come in and they'll say, well, my chiropractor told me my pelvis was tilted or I had a rotational uh, twist in the pelvis. So what I thought I would do is um, week one, we're gonna go over a pelvic rotation. I'm going to describe what that is and then what are the complications through the other parts of the body um, that are a result of that rotated pelvis. So um, what we typically do when, when we evaluate someone, we look at landmarks and that um, obviously tells us where the deviations are. So um, what I'm going to show you on the skeleton here is you know the two points right here on your pelvis um, we palpate those landmarks and that's your what we call ASIS or anterior superior iliac spine and um, we palpate and if one of those points is a little bit closer toward me so if I'm evaluating this person and I'm looking here and their my right hand or their left side of the pelvis is closer to me um, that's one indication of having a rotated pelvis and that's just one plane of motion what I'll typically do, um, we'll look at all four views just to confirm that. We'll look at the backside here and we'll check the two points here and to see if that's twisted. And then we'll also look at the side views. And if this person was twisted, what we call left to right, so that left side was forward, more than likely if I'm looking this way, I'm going to be able to see their whole right butt cheek basically. Now, what's important about that is what it does is um, for the low back, if the pelvis twists this left to right, well, what's gonna to happen to the vertebrae in the low back, they're gonna actually start twisting and then almost twisting the other way. So there becomes a, a real significant torque in that low back. Now, when we see that, it's gonna be impossible for the muscles to be uh, symmetrical from one side to the other. Now, that's a static. So when the person starts going into movement, that deviation is just gonna be compounded. Now, in regards to the hip, Again, we're talking about a rotation left to right. What'll happen is this is gonna twist this way. This hip would rotate outward or externally rotate. This hip on the right side would actually rotate inward or internally rotate. Um, the significance there again is we have a pair of muscles on both sides of our, of our body. So if you see that deviation, well, it's impossible for the muscles on this side to be in the same length tension on one's the other side. So <clears throat> that's a really significant deviation that's probably one of the most common um, that we see. That's why I wanted to start with that. Um, I actually wrote an article about a pelvic rotation that you could visit on our site as well, and it goes over some exercises. So what I'd like to do next is um, shoot a video that has a couple corrective exercises on there. So if you've been diagnosed from your chiropractor or your physical therapist um, with a rotated pelvis, give these exercises a shot and uh, see if it doesn't help with your symptoms and your function. All right, we'll see you soon.